Hello everyone. Uh, this video today will be a little bit different. Uh, it's different because uh, it's talking about the demonstrations which we experience here in the United States of America. I'm not going into detail about whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether it's not about that one. But I'm going to talk this uh, video in relation to the DV lottery because people ask me every day, uh, the results are going to be out during this time of the DV, uh, the, the time of demonstrations. Uh, uh, is the Green Card lottery going to be completely cancelled because of of these kind of demonstrations going on or oh, some people are asking uh, will the US embassy allow people to be given the visa when they win the DV lottery uh, to come to America or oh, some people are asking will this go to change the future of the DV lottery maybe completely be cancelled some people are asking question there are so many questions but some of the question is so if I'm coming to America where should I go and stay so that maybe this state they are not prone to demonstrations versus this one one, what should, he be, should I be able to do? So all these kind of questions are related to demonstrations which are happening right now in the United States of America. People have never experienced this one, uh, especially uh, from outside to see the magnitude of this one. We have seen demonstrations, but these are in the next level and they are almost the nationwide demonstrations. Welcome everyone. Uh, this is Ernest Bonfast Makulo EBM. First of all, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't done so. And remember to like the video, remember to share. You can go to my Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, wherever you want to come there to get connected with me, I welcome you uh, to do that. And let me go direct to the particular video and the topic of today is about demonstrations which are happening now in the United States of America and the status of the DV lottery in general. How will that be uh, happening? So in order to do that way, I will have at least four questions and these four questions will be able to guide me to be able to ask these questions I've been which I've been receiving and go to answer these questions everybody has been as, uh, asking me through comments through Instagram through Facebook through uh, Twitter and also through WhatsApp so the first question about the demonstrations in the United uh, which happening now in the United States is about will the DV lottery results be out is expected despite these demonstrations. We all know that the DV lottery results are supposed to happen uh, on Saturday, June 6, 2020 uh, at noon Eastern time. Uh, the results will be out or the government will decide, okay, because of everything's going on, they'll shut down for another extension and figure out what will be able to happen uh, and can we go from there. Number one, uh, the DV lottery results will be out as expected so far. They are not going to change. Within one, two days, they are not going to change. Remember, each department is working uh, as normal part of the government. Yes, there are demonstrations, but these demonstrations will not affect the results to be out as a plan. And I want to make sure you to understand one thing. The reasoning of uh, postponing the previous DV lottery results from May 5th to June 6th was because of the pandemic uh, coronavirus and how that affected because many people were have to stay at home many people have to work uh, to do the telework to work from home so all those kind of changes uh, made the also the department or the immigration department uh, to be in a position to figure out how they can be able to continue just to list the results but also to be capable of continuing to do pre-processing of everyone to be able to go to process once you win you fill your list to six submit all the documents that can be able to do everything some of these things from from home some of the things will be from direct work or from their local um, from their office to be thing to do be, to be able to process everything so that the first person to appear to the visa interview to be on uh, October first is planned uh, like 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 before. So that is the first question which I want to assure you that the DV lottery results will be out on June six as is scheduled and the demonstrations will not change that kind of results. Question number two. Let me go to question number two quick. Question number two is, will winners be allowed to process and come to the United States, to, to the United States despite these demonstrations? The 
answer of this one is yes. The only thing will not allow the winners to process is not the demonstrations will be if the suspension, 60 day suspension is going to be extended and it will be extended for instance. So that will be only the thing will not be allowing you to go to the, uh, to, to the, to, 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 to process. But remember there are two things here. The first thing will be to process with the, filling the DS260, sending the DS260 to KCC. The second part will be, uh, the KCC will be asking you to submit certain documents like your passport, your marriage certificate if you are married, police clearance record. So there are certain documents you'll be allowed to submit this kind of information beforehand. Those kind of processes will continue even if the V lottery will be under suspension like now so that those processes has nothing to do with the actual visa interview at the u.s embassy so you'll be able to do those kind of things like normal you'll be able to be able to do the visa interview you'll be able to process the only thing will not be able to allow uh, to process because of the demonstrations is if in the local u.s embassy you are there are demonstrations we have seen demonstration maybe in nairobi maybe in south africa or whatever country you are people decide to be demonstrating to go to the u.s embassy uh to demonstrate and your visa interview date is on that day so obviously they will reschedule your visa interview but overall you will be allowed to continue to process with the diversity visa processing like normal and even doing the interview despite these demonstrations which are going on around the United States of America. The third question, question number three is, should I get worried on the state I'm planning to go to stay because of these demonstrations? Maybe uh, you find your host, the host is in Minnesota. Minnesota, we know that is where uh, 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 the, the late uh, George Floyd uh, was killed and that is where the demonstration started and it's packed almost the entire country. So, what if I was planning to go to Minnesota? What if I was planning to go maybe to Boston and I see a lot of demonstration in Boston? What if I was planning to go to New York and all the demonstrations that were maybe there in New York? Will I be worried to go to uh, to this uh, kind of uh, to that particular state or that particular city which is a center of this kind of demonstrations or someone asking let's say the question like uh, should which state is not uh, having a lot of demonstrations just in a, in normality what, where should I be able to choose my question uh, my answer to that is very very simple and very straightforward United States is United States whether you live in Vermont whether you live in Los Angeles, whether you live in Chicago, whether you live in DC, you are in the United States of America and you'll be under the federal law. And yes, each state has particular regulations. But my advice will be, you can go wherever you want to go and you still will be safe. There is no about, okay, this state because it has more black people, that means there will be so much people. Or because there is Latino people, or because there is a group of white people, don't worry about that. My advice usually I tell you, uh, uh, the only thing you need, you need to be worried is if it, uh, I'm in your shoes, if I win the green card lottery, is I prefer not to go to live in California. I would prefer not to go to live in Hawaii. I would prefer not to go to live in uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia, or New York because it is very, very expensive to go to start life in those particular states. Or if you are going to Illinois, don't go and leave Chicago. So I will give where you should not be able to go overall because of the cost of living, but not like, okay, if uh, demonstrations are happening because demonstrations, they are happening because of injustice like this. When they are happening, people will go to do demonstrations. But in a normal way, life is going on like a normal, whatever part of America you are. The only thing you need to worry about is, am I going to be able to afford to pay rent? Will I be able to afford to have uh, to pay rent, finding food, to be able to survive under the minimum uh, minimum dollar job. Because once you come here, you are not going to be a manager. You are going to be working in the Amazon warehouse. You are going to work at uh, Costco. You are going to work at Walmart. You are going to work at the restaurants. You are going to work at fulfillment centers. You can be working in customer service. In most, it will be minimum job, 10, 14, 15 dollar uh, $15 uh, hour job per hour. I mean, 
So it depends. Uh, so do you want to go to live in LA with that expensive of $15 per hour, or you want to live maybe in Ohio for $15 per hour, which will be the cost of living is small or is very low compared to New York or LA, or you are going to go to live in San Diego, Chicago, those kind of the big cities, uh, something to be uh, concerned about. So don't be concerned too much about, okay, I'm planning to go to Minnesota, so I cannot survive because the demonstration happened in Minnesota. The demonstration happened almost the entire state, almost each state, each major big city, the demonstrations happen. Unless otherwise you live in your countryside, yes, there are no demonstrations in those kind of areas. So if you go to the smaller states, like maybe at Montana, you might not find these kind of demonstrations. But it doesn't mean that you have to go to Montana because there are no demonstrations. You have to look at other bigger factors, especially the bigger one is cost of living of the particular area. And the last question which people are asking about the demonstration in the United States and the status of the DV lottery is overall about will these demonstrations change or make the US government completely cancel the DV lottery in the future? Which is a very good question. I can go to assure you that this will not be the reason. If the DV lottery is going to be cancelled, if it will not be because of the demonstrations. First of all, we have to understand that the Green Card Lottery has been established by Immigration Nationality Act, INA, and it has been enacted by the Congress. So there is no particular individual whether vice president, whether the speaker, whether the president has a mandate, or has a power to say from now on, I'm going to cancel the DV lottery completely out of the picture. Has a presidential power to suspend for a certain time like what you have seen, but cannot say I completely go and uh, end the DV lottery. If they wanted to end the DV lottery, they have to put the motion in the lower house, uh, House of Representatives, and then to be going to Senate, then the Congress in general will be able to decide whether to change the Immigration Nationality Act, which enacted this DV lottery, to be completely uh, removed. And that day, one day it will happen. The DV lottery will never continue forever. Let's be honest. Let's be real with this situation. It is only the United States on the planet Earth which has the lottery system to provide to people diversity, I mean to provide people uh, permanent residence. Other countries, you don't get permanent residence just because uh, you have won the lottery. Maybe they might modify the lottery, maybe basing on more important uh, things to do. Like we see, they have started adding few things like public charge. Maybe down the road they will say, no, minimum high school, we don't want that one. We want maybe someone with a minimum bachelor degree or master's degree so that when you come here, we can also benefit quicker and not become a public charge. They might do that maybe to modify some of the regulations. Or sometimes they might say, we can not, uh, we are going to end the DV lottery per se because this one is going to bring everybody while should we focus on this one while it's going to affect the job market here in the united states as we all know that the reason of suspension of 60 days is because to protect the uh, the, uh, the the job the job market here uh, up to now i'm making this video in june we have over 35 million people who are unemployed because of the coronavirus so that will be, if they have to cancel, it will be because of the labor market to protect the jobs for Americans. Like, if you are going to bring 50,000 people, 55,000 people each year, but some of those, maybe 20,000 of those, they are married and they have kids. So basically, you are not going to bring 50,000, you are going to bring more than 100,000 per year, each year. So if we're going to bring 100,000, they are going to compete the, the jobs with our people. So that if the reason to be to cancel the DV lottery in the future will be purely based on the situation about job market and the issue about immigrants coming here, especially some to be prone to become public charge. So in that case, is like they are going to do that way. They might also increase maybe education or they might go to add some... Extra. So it's either to modify the regulations or completely change stop that one and they allow a, a green card through marriage through work and other ways while they are protecting the job market but the demonstrations i want to assure you will have nothing to do in the future if the 
the, the V lottery will be going to be cancelled. Nothing is permanent, nothing is forever. Let's be honest, let's be real. It's not about Donald Trump, it's not about Bill Clinton, it's not about uh, Obama, it's not about George Bush. The reality is, green card is started at one, one time in, the, in, 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 in US history, back in 2007, 2000 something, whatever it was, and it will end at one point. Just like how they remove a few countries, in the end they will say, okay, let's go to make a break, remove all the countries, and all the countries will be able to come through other ways if you want to come here come through work we know for sure you have been vetted with your education with your work experience you can come here then it is a professional instead of bringing someone who are going to be randomly selected or they might decide okay we'll be doing the DV lottery maybe for people who are already in the US they know the system they already have a degree here then it will be something like that way we do not know i'm not going to say anything i'm not supporting anything out of those but the reality is the green card lottery will not be there forever and if it's going to be cancelled it will be purely because of the job situation job market and the protection of the american economy rather than demonstrations which are happening right now there are bigger things to deal with this demonstration than the dv lottery this is a very minor thing for them than just going to deal with the justice system going to deal with the economy me, just going to deal with the uh, police uh, uh, system, uh, court, whatever. So this is a bigger thing than just demonstrations to be able to end the DV lottery. So that is something I want to make sure you understand. So those were the most four questions people are asking about demonstrations happening in the United States and in the future of the DV lottery. So I'm sure you are confident enough to know that these things are happening, but you can be able to process and be confident about that. But always, always, always have other plans beyond the DV lottery. Don't put your entire life on the DV lottery. So even if your plans are to come to America, to go to Canada, to go to Europe, don't put all plans in one item. Things about other plans, but also a backup. What if I don't be able to go, whether it will be through scholarship, whether through marriage, whether through whatever way, what can I be able to do and reach my same dreams in my own country or my neighboring country? So that is what I want to share with you, to be positive and not get frustrated, not get depressed because of these developer results that you didn't win. So thank you so much, everyone, and I wish you all the best.